Moses, you know, God was first in Moses' life. But you know what was second in his life? The ministry of a prophet. And they had, and, and, and uh, Jethro, his, uh, his, uh, father-in-law. Huh? Father-in-law. Father-in-law. You know, he brought his wife and his sons to, to Israel uh -huh. where he, where God had called him, Moses, to, to be a prophet. And you know what? Moses had to leave. Mm -hmm. He said, Jeff, Jeff Rowe, take him back. The ministry is second. God is first. All right. And the ministry that I've been called to, to be a prophet, to, to, to give God's word, that's second. And then the wife and the kids, you know, all of them, third. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Always remember, first is God. Second, if you've got a ministry, is that ministry. Third is family. That's right. And that's, that's been the foundation that my wife and I have built upon. Yes, sir. God first, ministry second, family third. And, and that's what have kept me through these storms that I have gone through. You have gone through your personal afflictions and hardships. Look, look at what you've gone through in your body. Look at what you've gone through in your personal lives. Look at what you've gone through mentally and what you've gone through in your spiritual struggles. Hanging in here, trying to hold on to what you know in your heart that's right when everything around you is co compromised. You know, take it down. Uh -huh. it's, it's this word. And I was preaching a message Saturday morning. I, I, I don't know the exact uh, details, but I was preaching about uh, building on, on this foundation right, right. that has already been laid. Yes. See, when Jesus came, he laid, uh, he's a chief cornerstone. Yes, sir. And the apostles came and were built upon Jesus, the chief cornerstone. If that corner ain't right, when you're building a foundation, when you're building a house and it's a foundation of cement, that corner has got to be right. If that corner ain't right, then them other three corners is going to be off. The wall is going to be off. The roof, the ceiling is going to be off. Everything going to be crooked. Everything got to align up with that chief cornerstone. And Jesus is a chief cornerstone. And our preaching, our teaching, our gospel, our faith, faith, everything got to line up with Jesus. It can't be a bunch of uh, other stuff. And that's what's happened. So many have gotten off the foundation mm -hmm. at a critical time. Yes. This is the time we need to examine ourselves to see if we're still building on the right foundation. Building, y'all remember that um, movie come out made of the right what? The right stuff. I don't, I didn't watch it, but these were astronauts or something, and, and and went through a lot. Made have to be made. We got to be made of the right thing, don't yes, we? Sir. Yes, sir. We can't make it. Now on, from here on out, we've got to make sure not only that we are on the right foundation, but that we are building, and, and, and we're not building hay, wood, and stubble. Huh? You know what hay, wood, and stubble? Emotions. You know how hay can flare up, burn out, go? Mm -hmm. Hay, wood, and stubble can just flare up and burn out, and it's gone. We got to make sure we're building on something that when all the dust is settled, that we're still standing. Yes. That we're still firm. I've seen a uh, metal building structure where the fires and things came, but yet the structure, the the, the beams were still there. Even though everything else was gone, but the beams were still there. And I've seen it even in the high winds and floods and and some hurricanes, those structures that held everything else in place were still standing. 
And we have got to make sure that we are building upon. First, make sure that you're on the right foundation. Right. And then, make sure that you're building upon that foundation the right material. Come on. So said, what is it, Brother Blue? The right material. Come on here, Brother Larry. And then, Brother Larry. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see you. That's right. He said he was in here for good, and I'm saying that he really is. He's in here with us now, isn't he? But you have to make sure that, um, you know, um, I was telling people that you have to build mm -hmm. the right material. And the right material, one of the things that you build upon is the word. The word is a lamp to my feet, a light to my path. Make sure you're building because everything that can be shaken in this end time storm is going to be shaken. That's what Haggai said. Haggai chapter 2. And over there in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 25 through 27. Read a little bit of that. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 25 and 27. It speaks about um, a shaking and man if, if we have been in a shaking Hebrews chapter 12 verse 25 see that ye refuse not him that speaketh uh -huh. for if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth yes. much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven Yes. whose voice then shook the earth see that was a shaking but that is not only a physical shaking. That's what uh, he's talking about here. When God come down on Mount Sinai and he brought those tablets, those ten tablets, and with his own finger he en engraved those ten tablets. And when he come down, the mountain shook. When he spoke, everything shook. And his voice was to them like thunder. And they was all afraid. And they said, Moses, you should speak to us. So we can't hear God. We, we can't take it. We'll have heart attacks. So God allowed uh, Moses to speak to them through, through Moses. And they received those ten tablets or ten commandments. You know, people think that God's done away with the ten commandments, but he hasn't. He just um, done away with the laws, the ceremonies that came along with them. But he never done away with the original Ten Commandments. Come it's going to be those commandments that's going to keep us during the time of the mark of the beast. And the very first one, the devil is going to try to insti in institute these commandments to try to um, cause people to break from, to break God's original laws. Right. When he said, Thou shalt not have no other God before me, didn't he? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. He said, Thou shalt have no even, not even a graven image of me. None. We've got graven images of, of pictures of Jesus. <laughs> and a lot of people pray to these images. Nothing. If we worship God, we have to worship him how? Spirit. In spirit and in truth. truth. He said we're not to have some graven image. And people idolize these images. And they go and pray and light candles to these images. And they do that tattoo now when you know to these images. Yeah. Praying. He said don't have no image before me. I'm spirit. I will walk in you. You are my temple. I will talk in you. I will dwell in you. You shall be my sons and my daughters. And I'm going to manifest myself to the wicked through you. I'm going to be a light to the world through you. But not images. Not idols. And, and these prophets spoke against these things. They said, why are you going and carve out images out of stone and out of silver and out of wood? And you pray to these images 
and you call them your God and you tell you, and you know that's what they did when God opened up that Red Sea with the nostril with, with the blast of his nostril yes, sir. and brought them out of 400 years of bondage 400 years of captivity and spared them from 10 major plagues that came upon the Egyptians and when the death angel came it passed over the Israelites came upon the Egyptians God kept them he preserved them, kept them from plagues, kept them through the fire, kept them in the wilderness, kept them, became a pillar of fire by night because there was darkness and they had light in the night and it was a pillar of cloud by day to keep them from the scorching sun, to keep them from burning up in the daytime. And when they needed water, he spoke to Moses to speak to the rock. And when Moses spoke to the rock, Water come out like the great Mississippi, but it wasn't polluted like the Mississippi. Was it? Water come out. And when they needed food, sent them manna from heaven. Yes. And in that manna, everything they needed was in that manna. Yes. For their nutrition and for everything. And not a one of them, he was their doctor. Not a one of them got sick. Not a one of them needed to be hospitalized. Not a one of them needed get a prescription fulfilled. Not a one of them needed surgery. Not a one of them needed a psychiatrist. You know, they got a doctor for everything. Got a toe doctor. Got a foot doctor. Got an eye doctor. They got a doctor for your nerves. Got a doctor for... Man, when, when I was in the accident, they had five or six doctors come in there. One of them put monitors on my heart. Checking my heart. One of them put monitors, you know, CAT scan, and, 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 and all kind of other stuff. Five or six different doctors. But Jesus is our physician. He's the master. He masters every person, every situation, whether it's related to our physical body, whether it's related to our mental ability, our, our mind, whether it's related to our spiritual needs, he knows how to work out. There she is. How you doing? I saw your brother last week. Two, last time I was here. I don't know when the last time that was. But it's good to see you back there. And Sister LaDonna, good to see you too. Amen. Sister Lorraine was here a few minutes ago. Huh? She had to go get Erica. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see the different ones here. But Jesus was everything. In the, out there in the wilderness, uh -huh. did you know God is a, a is a, a, the Bible said God is a consuming what? Fire. Fire. Did you know the scripture says no flesh can approach him? That's right. Uh, in whom no flesh can approach. So he had to have a physical form to identify with us because he's so bright. He's so... Uh, that sun is nothing. That sun is darkness compared to the real presence and the real manifestation and the real God of heaven. Jesus. So he had to come down. And when you see him, uh, you read about, about a man being in a fiery furnace with the... Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that fourth man was Jesus. He was the, he, he, that man Jesus was hidden from us in the Old Testament. Jesus. Only when Gabriel came to a, a virgin named Mary and said, Thou shalt call this name Jesus, only then was the name that's above every name revealed. That's right. His name shall be called Emmanuel, Prince of Peace, Counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father. But when Gabriel told Mary his name shall be called Jesus, Jesus Savior, that is the name that God had been hidden. That, that's the name that was hidden from the prophets, from all of these men, all of these women, all of these people in the Old Testament. And only when Gabriel came, that name was revealed. That's why it says, at the name of Jesus, Every knee is going to bow. 
Veins in heaven. Veins in earth. Veins of the earth. Every tongue confess that Jesus is what? Lord to the glory of God. In my name, you're going to cast out devils. In my name, you're going to lay hands on the sick. In my name, you're going to tread upon serpents. In my name, you're going to do all of these different signs. And at the name of Jesus, it was revealed to us. They had all these different titles and different names in the Old Testament. But the name, thank God, the mystery that's been hid from all of those Old Testament saints of when David said the name should be called. Huh? I said, hear from y'all now. His name shall be called what? Huh? What? Jesus. Jesus. His name shall be called Jesus. All these other uh, different manifestations. But his name shall be called what? Jesus. 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 Whoever shall call upon the name of. Y'all just can't say Jesus. 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 How y'all doing? His name shall be called Jesus. And he shall save his people from their sins. Yes. Thank God. I was telling someone that has uh, been bothered with uh, a little dementia. And they have, you know, not been able to remember. Even the closest relatives to them. Their name. I said, look, if you, if you can't remember your closest relatives. And if you can't remember, you know, your mama's name. None of these. Remember one thing, the name of Jesus. I said, don't you ever forget that name. I said, that's the name that's going to get you through these things you're fighting now. And that's the name that's going to get you to heaven. There's salvation in no other name given under heaven whereby man can be saved. Not the name of Yahweh. Not the name of Moody, of Buddha. Buddha not the name of Hinder. Not the name of uh, all these different names that these false religions uh, are given. None of these names can heal. None of these names can save. Come on. None of these names can deliver. None of I was, you know, when I would cast up devils in, on the mission field and in this country, evangelistic work, and Sister Bernie, Sister Roberta, y'all remember we had them tents up and how them demons would come in there and how they would come in there uh, with, with uh, knives and come in there, one man come in there from um, Oklahoma City and had a pistol and he was sent to me that, he told me after the Lord delivered him, he told me I got this pistol right here, I'm going to give it to you he said I was going back to Oklahoma City and I was going to shoot and kill somebody, he said but the Lord had delivered me from that demon of murder and we had five or six brothers because he was so violent and in such a rage, five or six brothers had to hold him down until we could speak the name of Jesus. Jesus. When we spoke the name of Jesus, that demon violently coming out of him, screaming out. And that happens on many occasions. But if we would speak any other name, the devil wouldn't pay no attention. Right. The devil wouldn't, wouldn't do nothing. But Brother Hunt, you remember when the name of Jesus we, we, we knew when they was delivered when we commanded them to say, say that Jesus. As long as they, they wouldn't say Jesus, they, they, I mean, they cough and they, and they bark and they vomit up all that stuff, but they just wouldn't. But when all of that passed, now said Jesus, and when they said Jesus, then we know that devil had left. We knew them demons, them evil spirits had left when they could confess the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What folks don't realize at the name of Jesus, every knee gonna bow. Every tongue gonna confess. They might not be willing, it don't matter. That name is gonna have such power until demons is gonna bow down to that name. Evil spirits, principalities, powers, sickness, diseases, every human being, presidents, prime ministers, governors, mayors, they all, whether they want to or not. 
when the name of Jesus is mentioned, every, there's going to be so much power in that name. Everything is going to just power down. Angels in heaven are going to bow down. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. And angels bow to that name now in heaven. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that's the name that was hidden in the Old Testament. That's the name that was hidden. And people, you know, they, I, I hear them come out with Yahweh and all these. I'm pretty sure these have got good significant meanings, Yahweh and all that. But I, keep it simple with me. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Why do we have to go off into some other stuff? Amen. You need to go in that Hebrew and try to find a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> you got to go in all these different. Um, yeah. Jesus is good enough. Jesus. His name shall be called Jesus. 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 Under us a child is born. A son is given. And his name shall be called Emmanuel, which is Jesus. God with us through Jesus. God coming to us through Jesus. The word was made flesh. And the name of that word was Jesus. The word made all things. All things was made by him. Without it was nothing made that was made. When you have seen your father, when you've seen me, you've seen the father. Why do you say, show us the father? I am the Emmanuel. I am the Almighty. I am the Prince of Peace. I am the everlasting father. I am the one that you're looking for. In me, you have healed it. I am the resurrection. Thank you, Lord. I said in someone, I said in someone, I lost their loved one last week. And I'm sure some of y'all uh, knew him. I can't uh, What was his name? Lost a loved one uh, last week. He was a uh, minister. And he was a soldier. And he uh, pastored a church over there in Central Texas. And uh, Watson. Watson, yeah, brother Watson, Jim Watson. Special friend of mine's too, and uh, his daughter was in our services yesterday morning, mm -hmm. and I looked at her and I was telling her, you know, you know, death. If you don't understand it, it can be painful. It can be, you know. But I was telling her, I said, when I listen to me, when a Christian dies, when a Christian dies, he enters into Jesus. That's right. That's simple, ain't it? So I said, what do you mean? I thought it was heaven. What Jesus said, in him dwell all the fullness of God. <laughs> in him dwell, heaven dwells in Christ. One man said, show us the kingdom. He said, Jesus, the kingdom is right here when you've seen me. See, I am the way. I am the door. I am the truth. Right. I am the life. I am the resurrection. Yes. Everything we need. When you die, you enter into Christ. And in Him, you have resurrection. You have glorified body. You have eternal life. I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Everything we need is in Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. You didn't know that? Sister Mar, you know that? All heaven dwells in Him. Somebody said, That's deep. It might be deep, but it's simple. Right. In him, I'm on the door. Right. On the way. On the truth. On the lie. For any man get to heaven, he gotta come through, through me. To come through him, you gotta enter into him. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, when, that's why right. the devil can't attack you because you're in Christ. Jesus is not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. And all that are, that's right. That's why all of your loved ones that is going on, they're dead, they're alive. You're more dead than they are. They entered into Christ. They entered into resurrection power. They entered into eternal life. They entered into a place where death is past. They'll never die again. They'll never have to suffer or be afflicted by all these germs and diseases and all these things now. Remember I was telling you this last time I was here. Sister Bruce, you remember? Only if we enter into Christ, 
when we passed, you know, I was telling this to my great granddaughters in Nyla. She said, I want to go to heaven. I want to die. I want to go to heaven. <laughs> you know, it made heaven so real to us. It made heaven so tell her about where her grandmother is at. Tell her about all the beauties of heaven. The Bible says, sent to affection right. on things. Huh? Sent to affection what death is. Uh -uh. Sent to affection what diseases is. Uh -uh. Sent to affection what death and what violence and what evil is. Is that what the Bible says? No. Sent to affection on things above. Where Christ sits at the right hand of the magistrate. She just said, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done where? In earth as it is in heaven. See, God wants his will to be manifested, his purpose to be manifested in us. In heaven, there is no sickness, there is no death, there is no pain, there is no sorrow, there is no demons, there is no diseases. He said, let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Drive this sickness out of earth. Drive these curses from the earth. Drive these powers. Drive these principalities. Drive all this dying. Drive all this suffering so that we can have heaven on earth. So that we can be set in heavenly places right down here in God. How do we? He wants to set us in heavenly places. Right down here on earth. Help us, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Glory. You move over just a little bit. I'll help you carry your load. I know the way is rough and hard, but together we can stand. I know just what you've been going through. I've been down that same old road. If you move over just a little if you move over just a little bit, I'll help you carry that load. Hallelujah. Glory. Tell me down that lonesome road. Seems like it had no end. I stooped as low as one could go beneath the Maury clay of sin. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all know what I'm saying? Amen. But if you move over just a little bit, the Bible said we can we can uh, be sitting in heavenly places right down here on earth. That was a place Jesus was in earth, on the earth. But yet, he was operating from a realm of heaven. That's right. He was sitting in a heavenly place. Yes, yes. He said, my father always faces, behold me. It's always, I can have access to him. Yes. Always, I can come to him. Hallelujah. That's right. And that's what he wants us. He said, that where I am, there you may be. Glory. Even Glory. where my father, you know, was manifesting himself in me to a dark, sick world. He said, I want you to come into a place that I want to manifest myself to the world through you. My healing, my peace, my hope, my joy, my strength. In him was light. The light was the light of man. That light shined in darkness. Darkness is evil, diseases, powers, principalities. In him, that light shined in darkness. And Bible said that when the light shined in darkness, they that, they that sat in darkness saw a great light. They that sat in darkness, light sprung up. And when light sprung up, they brought to him many that was crippled, many that was tormented, many that was afflicted, many that had diseases. And when the people beheld him, they were healed. And the scripture tells us that as Jesus touched them, they was healed. And as many as touched him was made whole. He even sent his word to heal them and to deliver them. To deliver them. He came down from heaven and brought heaven with him. He brought healing with him. He brought redemption with him. He brought the love of God with him. He brought the power of God with him. What the, the devil's down here on earth was saying, leave us alone. What are we to do with thee? We're darkness. You're light. Light darkness. Do we have no fellowship? Leave us alone. Come on. My God. Well, he said he wants to set us in heavenly places. Right here in the midst of these plagues. In the midst of all this devastation. In the midst of these judgments. I want to set you in a place 
He said, where I am, there you may be also. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, many rooms, many realms, many dominions. There are many places. There's a place for you. There's a place. He said, heaven is not crowded. Did you know that just, I was telling you, um, so different ones, heaven, I said just, just to walk down one street in heaven, it will take you to an eternity. And then every time, every time you look back, you find out everything looks so different than what it was when you started walking down that street. Hallelujah. Did you know that over there in the book of Isaiah chapter 6, it speaks about how that these serums when they Let's read a little bit of that. Can I read a little bit of this? Isaiah chapter 6. Thank you, Jesus. We're living epistles. Where is this? Isaiah chapter 6. Start at verse 1. Hey, listen, listen, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. We're waiting on Brother Bob. Let's get to it. Y'all get to it with us now. Isaiah chapter. I'm glad y'all brought y'all Bibles. Because of it. There's coming a time that's going to be a famine for this word. And you know when there's a famine for the word and uh, people don't have their Bibles, you know they go to these here. Don't they? Google. All of these different scriptures in vain. But what about when the battery dies? What about if the satellite is not working? Uh-oh. And, and, and nothing here, you, you can't Google nothing. Then, so I went, Brother Blue, I'm sorry, I got my Bible. Well, what about when they come in and take your Bibles away? What you say? Better have it in your heart. That word, how about what? Hear in my heart that I might not sin against you. We need the word of God in our hearts. That is what sustained people when they was in trouble. And when communism came, socialism came, and when liberalism came, we didn't get the word about that in the hearts of our children. Because all this, all this LGBTQ stuff, they're putting our children, they want to castrate them, and they want to uh, feed them to the dogs. They're trying to take them down, and they're telling their kids not to tell your parents what's, what you're being taught. And they're trying to corrupt their little minds, and they're trying to pervert their little spirits because they know that God is going to apply his spirit, and the devil is trying to get ahead of God and trying to do all of these things. That's why, you know, when Jesus was born, his mother told him the word. So she said it now. Read the scriptures to him. Didn't she? She didn't just turn him over to Facebook or turn him over to all of this uh, technical stuff here. They don't know how kids is, that they just end this year. And they just end on um, tick, tick, tack, tick tock, tick tock, and all that stuff for hours. Snapchat. Huh? Snapchat. Snapchat. What is? Uh, Facebook. And, and, and that's, that's and, but yet, they don't go into that to get the scriptures. They go into that to get all that stuff and all that pornography and all this other filth. Nonsense and foolishness. We need to make sure that. God said, raise them up, that when they get older, they'll not depart. Raise them up. Put the word of God in them. That's what Mary does to Jesus, put the word of God in him. That's right. While well, these other 13 and 14 year old girls out there chasing boys. You know, when a girl turns around 13 or 14, you know, she falls in love with every boy. Got that? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. They're like girls, aren't they? Boy, same way. But Mary was a lot like that. Other girls said, boy, me, you know. But Mary, she kept her spirit pure, clean. And the Lord came to her, and the word of God entered inside of her, and the word became flesh. And when the word became flesh, then she grew up, and she grew, she, she calls Jesus, he grew up. And when he was a boy, she put the word in. She would read the scriptures to him. Every day, God give her healing in her physical body. 
that she was just struggling with. You see all of these complications that she's having in her physical body. Go in her heart, go in her blood, go throughout every part of her body and drive out God, this evil that's trying to pull her straight down by the power of your spirit. Jesus' name. And he spoke. Word was made for And she spoke to her boy. She told him that you are different. That you, uh, your father is in heaven. Uh -huh. Said, you came from heaven. So you're not like your little other brothers and sisters. Mary had other children too. Said, you're not like them. Mm -hmm. And you're different. And it went into Jesus. So you're the Word made flesh. You're the Savior. You're the healer. You were born to deliver this world. You were born to be a light to this world. You were born to drive sickness out of the man, out of, out of man's life. You were born for one purpose, and that was to save the world from eternal damnation. You're the only hope that the world has. You're the only hope that the dying have, that the sick have, that the demon possessed people have. You're the only hope. So I've got to put this in you so that when it's time, you'll know. Thank you, Jesus. Man, by the time he's 12 years old, he's ready. But, but it wasn't time yet. What time is? It wasn't. And if Jesus was the word, made flesh. Uh -huh. What about us? He said we are red epistles. Right. Red and known of all men. Yes. God raised up. He said to bring in the revival. But well, we're going to be the walking word. The talking word. The manifested word. That's what Paul said. We are written epistles. Red and known of all men. I come not to you with enticing words of men's wisdom. But in power and in demonstration of the Spirit, so that your faith will not stand in the rich wisdom of man, in the religions of man, but in the power of God, which is the Word of God. Build your build yourself upon the Word. The foundation is the Word, and you build upon that foundation more of the Word. You grow in it, you study it, you meditate upon it. That's what one man, that's what God told Joshua. Joshua, don't let this word depart from your mouth day and night. Keep this word before you. And when you do it, it'll give you good success. It'll cause you to be prosperous. No enemy will be able to stand before you because of this word. That was the success of Joshua. The word, the word, stay in the word. Get away from all this other stuff on faith. Get away from all this foolishness. Quit going into everybody's life on Facebook. Get in the, get in the life of Christ. Get in the Word. His Word is full of life. His Word is spirit. His Word is life. His Word is healing. He sent it to heal. He sent it to deliver. He sent it to drive darkness out. He sent it to drive diseases out. He sent it to quicken you. So you won't be looking so dead and so dry and so disconnected. We need to be connected with God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Too many people is connected with Facebook, news, gossip. Give me something that's going to give me life. Give me something. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing about the word. Give me something that's going to cause faith to come alive in me. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
he had to live the rest of his life in isolation because the pride got in it. Well, that, that'll bring you down. Look at him. Pride would bring you down. You don't believe it? I'll tell you what. You call him. Next time you talk to the devil, you ask him. <laughs> next time you talk to Lucifer, you ask him. Lucifer, I mean, God made him perfect. He was made so perfect until God actually, I mean, his wings were spread out. And he was a cherub, a cherub, one of those type angels, but he was made so perfect until he shielded the light and the glory of God from many other. God is unapproachable. Mm -hmm. And he shielded that angels can't even approach him. He shielded all of that. Only one can see the Father is who Jesus permitted. He said, no man can see the Father except the Son reveal him. And no man, you don't know what the, you know, but there's a lot of mysteries about him and y'all don't know about him. Angels, they, for the first time, they saw the face of God in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in Jesus when he was a baby. Yes. Light up saw him for the first time. Jesus. Their Savior. Yes. Their Creator. That, that's why turn himself, you know, transform and turn himself into a baby. And the word made flesh. Hallelujah. So Mary was telling Jesus, you was born to save. I hope I'm not going on deep in with y'all. No, no. I know I'm in deep waters. But I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm trying to keep it simple. But let's just come back to earth. <laughs> But I'll say this, and it will come back to earth. It's good. Satan, Lucifer, was his original name. And he was created so perfect. Did you know he was created with such perfection until uh, the word Lucifer means shining one? That's right. He was the uh, morning star. But Jesus was the bright and morning star. But he was the, the one that um, brought forth Lucifer. He, 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 could, he, could, he could bring forth light. Light could come out of him. Not only light, but he had the um, all, every, every musical instrument. He had the power in him to create music to perfection. It would come out of him. Hallelujah. Glory. And he was made, and he and he walked before God perfect in every way. One day, he said, I'm going to be like the most high. Pride come in. One day, he said, I'm going to make my stars, I'm, I'm going to rise above the most high. And, you know, when he began to let pride, that's what caused him to become the devil. That's what caused him to fail. When pride got in him. God had a proud look. Holy Spirit. Humbled ourselves before. That's why he cast, was cast down the hell. Because he thought he was, you know, how can something created think they are better than the creator? Thought he was better than all the angels. Thought that he was better than God. Thought he was above the almighty God. And God said, "Hence will I cast you down to the lower hells. Jesus. Don't ever get a spirit of pride. You'll never think you're better. Always humble yourself before God. If we humble ourselves, he will exalt us in due time. But if we exalt ourselves, he'll bring us down. Always keep a poor spirit. Recognize God in Jesus, I can't. That's what Jesus was. He said, I can't do nothing without the Father. See, he kept that humbleness, that humility. He kept that spirit. He said, well. Thank you, Jesus. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Walk before your God with humility, with humbleness. Amen. Never allow pride to come inside of you. Amen. Finish reading that. 
I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne. I saw the Lord also the Lord sitting upon the throne. High. High. And lifted up. And lifted up. And his train. And his train filled the temple. Filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim. Above it stood the seraphim. You know, this is Isaiah. This was in the year that King Uzziah died. You, that's right. Uzziah was the king. But pride had got in. Other things had got in. And, his, and, and he was a covering. You know, king is a covering over the nation that he's ruling over. And if that king is corrupt, then that the, the, the covering is corrupt. That's right. Y'all hear me? I mean, if um, y'all president today, if he's for all this um, LGBTQ stuff, right. if he is corrupt, then the covering over America is corrupt. Right, right. There's no real protection, no real leadership. The head is being taken down, and demons have access and portals coming out of hell to bring uh, murdering spirits, to bring violence, to bring uncleanness, to bring perverse, because there's no covering. But if there's a good king, then there's a good covering over our land and over our nation. <coughs> That's why we got to pray. Yes. See, God, some of y'all prayed, and y'all didn't know y'all was praying in a covering of sin, a covering of perversion, a covering, but when King Uzziah died, then the heaven, heavens opened to a man called Isaiah. And Isaiah said, I see the heavens open now since that covering is gone, since that leadership is gone, since that perversion and uncleanness is gone, I see an open heaven now. Jesus. Well, <laughs> I let me get back down to earth. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Lord. Right. Whoever called upon what? The name, of the name of Jesus. Jesus. Shall be delivered. Yes, sir. That's the name that was concealed. That, that's the name that was concealed. The man that was in the middle of the fiery furnace. The real name that was, he was, that was the name of Jesus. The man that, um, appeared in the Old Testament through all these different titles and all these different other names. The real name was revealed to us when when Gabriel come from heaven and said his name shall be called Jesus. Huh? Jesus. Jesus. The cat got some of y'all talking? Jesus. Or the devil. His name shall be called what? Jesus. 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 Man, I have to get 100%. 99 and a half won't do. When we call it on Jesus, everybody, every tongue confess. Every, every tongue confess. Every knee shall bow. The name of Jesus drives demons out. The name of Jesus drives cancer out. The name of Jesus brings high blood pressure down. The name of Jesus drive darkness out. The name of Jesus drive perversion out. The name of Jesus drives all these evil things that come to steal, come to kill, and destroy. Oh, hallelujah. The name of Jesus prevails over every name. Yes, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Glory. We're about, I'm going to have to quit. Finish reading that. Each one had six wings. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face. With two he covered his face. With two he covered his feet. Uh-huh. And with two he did fly. Yes. And one cried unto another. One cried to another. And said. And said. Holy. 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 Is the Lord of hosts. See, God's got angels up there right now. Somebody said, that's boring for angels to do that constantly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. To the Lord. They've been doing it throughout all eternity. Mm -hmm. He got certain angels. Somebody said, why do they say that? Because every time they see him, they see a different manifestation. Glory. Oh, hold it. <laughs> they see a different, hold it. They see a different 
of holy yes, Lord. and forever and ever, forever and ever. And, and someone asked the angel, how long have, have they, these angels been doing that? They said, since we've been born, how long since we've been created, how long have y'all been created? I don't know, we've been here for ever. <laughs> and forever. Hallelujah. Yes, See, there's no end to God. His ways are past finding out. Glory. My God. Hallelujah. Holy. Jesus. Holy. 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 That's what they're doing. Oh, oh my. Look at that. There's a Jesus. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look, oh, holy. Hello. And they've been doing that forever. My God. Jesus. <laughs> yes, Lord. Oh, stop. That's right, little lady. I feel like doing that myself. Thank you. I believe she's feeling something, y'all. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Did we, we we'll stop right there. You want to read this more? The whole earth is full of his glory. The whole earth is full of his glory. May not look like it, but there is a glory that's going to fill this earth. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your word, for the revelation yes. of it. Yes. For the simplicity of it. Yes. Truth. Yes. Lord, we don't have to go into false doctrine. Yes. We don't have to compromise. Yes. We don't have to go into something that's not Bible. We have to just stay simple and just keep people building on the foundation that you have laid before us. And build upon this foundation truth. Build upon this foundation simplicity of the word. We thank you for it. Let it bring healing. Oh, hallelujah. I feel an anointing here. Thank you, Lord. Anybody need prayer? Yes. Anybody need special prayer? Yes, yes. You know, I, I really feel thank you, Lord. Thank an anointing. I want to just thank you. I want to just lay hands on you right now. Thank I you, feel Jesus. something just something just coming here. Thank just you, at Jesus. the end of this prayer. Thank I felt you, I felt this hovering. Thank you, Lord. It's, it's, Right in among us right now. Thank you. Shanda de de Osa, Rada de de Kusta, Rada. Yes, Lord. Sede de 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 Kusta. Yes, Lord. I want to just lay hands upon you just for a moment while I feel this special in the morning. Thank you, Jesus. I want to lay, come on, hold it for me, Brother Javon. While I feel this special, y'all come on, get it. I just want to lay hands upon everyone that we Yes, yes, Lord. Shanda de de Osa, take this word, Father. Bring healing. Bring deliverance, bring strength, confirm this word. God, as I lay hands upon them, just, just stay right there. Confirm this word in Jesus' name. Touch God. Whatever your situation is, release your faith. If it's healing, if it's a deliverance, if it's a miracle, whatever it is, release your faith. In Jesus' name. It's stand, stand right up here. In Jesus' name, release God this miracle in their lives. Healing, restoration, strength, whatever it is, as I lay hands upon them, let their faith say, Be it so. 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 You know, that's what. That scripture means when it said amen, it means be it so. Be it so. God, let it be so in Jesus' name. Whatever the need is, confirm this word by bringing healing, health, strength, moving obstacles out of their lives. Be it so. God, you see the struggle. She's had enough physical health. And you see how the enemy is trying to take her out of here. But God will rebuke death. And command your word to bring yes. life, yes. restoration, yes. health, Hallelujah. healing. Jesus name. Yes. Jesus name. Be healed. Hallelujah. Look unto me and live, saith the Lord. Yes. And I will quicken you. Hallelujah. And I will raise you up from this weakness and from these spirits that have attacked yes. your physical body. Yes. I drive this infirmity away from you Hallelujah. by the power of your spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name, touch him. God is a young man. God, be it so in his life. Just tell him, Lord, be it so. According to your word. Come on, open your mouth. Say, Lord, according to your word, 
Let your will be done in my life. Be it so in Jesus' name. God, order his steps. God, according to your purpose for his life. Amen. Be it so. Be it so. God, you've ordered his steps to come to this church. You've ordered his steps to accept this kind of a word. Now, order his steps. God, to complete what you've started. Finish the work that you've started. This is Jesus, be it so. Jesus, be it so. They say, Jesus, amen. Amen to your healing. Amen to your promises. Amen to your word. You're saying, you know what you're saying? You're saying, Lord, I'm turning you loose in my body. I'm turning you loose in my life. When you said amen to Jesus, you're saying, have your way in Jesus' name. Touch his horn and strengthen him. And give him, God, that lasting strength that he needs in his physical health. You see what he has struggled with. Touch and let healing come. Lord, I felt a special knowing. I feel it right now. In the name of Jesus, be it so. Be it so. Be it so, Father. Be it so. God knows everything that y'all, every one of y'all, God, looking upon you. He's looking into your life. He's looking into your history. He's looking into your situation. He knows everything you need. He said, I know what you have need before you even ask me. That's why we're just saying, be it so. You ain't got to explain nothing to me. All you got to do is say, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, be it so. Be it so. Be it so in Jesus' name. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Hallelujah. 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 Be it so. Be it so, Father. In Jesus' say it. Jesus, be it so. With the, the reason I'm telling y'all to repeat, women, because the Bible says with the mouth, confession is made. With the heart, men believe. But with the mouth, confession is made. So I want you to open your mouth and say, be it so. According to your word. In Jesus name. Be it so. And bring healing in his body. In his lower back. In his hips. And all around. Well, what is arthritis and all this other stuff. God touch him. Make him whole. Be it so. Be it so. Turn 76 tomorrow. Let me have my. Isn't that a blessing? Let me let me have a tell me to six tomorrow. No, the um what I wash my hands with. Yeah, that. There you go, thank you. Hold that too. In Jesus' name. Lord, I bless his seventy sixth birthday. In Jesus' name, amen. Be it so. Be it so. Bless your 76th birthday with health. God, add to your years and give you strength and help you in your latter years to come to a greater understanding and a greater knowledge of Him. Amen. Be it so, Father. Be it so. You know everything about His life. You know, the ending from the beginning. Lord, be it so. Be it so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I felt that. Be it so in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God, be it so. God, be it so. Be it so. Be it so, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Be it so. In Jesus' name. God, you know the situations in her life. And the, all of those that surround her. God, work out all of these situations. Be it so. Let your purpose and your will be manifested to her. In all of these situations that she needs you to help her with. Be it so. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Be it so. 
Be it so, Father. Say it, Jesus. Say, Jesus, be it so in my life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be it so. You know what it's all about. Be it so in her life. Be it so. Your purpose, your will be done. Jesus' name. Oh, I feel. Thank you, Jesus. Be it so. Be it so, Father. Be it so in her life. I'm commanded to be so in say it, be it so in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Be it so. Hallelujah. That name, that name, what's that name? That name, the name of Jesus is above every what? Every name. Huh? Every name. In heaven. Look at it. And in earth and down yonder, that name is above every name. You ever get in trouble, call on the name of Jesus. Okay? I was call on my name. I'm liable to be sleeping. I'm liable to be on the highway or busy. But you call on the name of Jesus, he never sleep. He never slumber. He know everything. He know everything you thinking right now. That's right. Be it so, Father. Be it so. Be it so. Hi, Sister Erica. God, be it so in Sister Erica's life. Come on, tell him, Sister Erica. Be it so. According to your will for my life. Let your will be so be done. I say amen to your purpose and your will for my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Sister Erica. That's right. Be it so. What did you say your name was? Be it so. In Sister Sherry Brown's life. In the life of all of those that are around her that she's carried burdens for. Let your will be so. Let your purpose be manifested in her life. In Jesus' name. In, say, in Jesus' name. Be it so. Be it so. And that's right. In his name. Just sit right there. In the name of Jesus, be it so. Be it so in Sister Roberta's name. In the, in her, in the name of Jesus, Sister Roberta, God and her family. That name, Lord Jesus. Ain't you part of that family? Huh? Your name, of that name, there's every name in heaven and in earth. Well, see, your last name ain't. Roberta Williams Porter your last name is Jesus he give us a new name that's why we're going to we're going to carry that name all the way throughout eternity he give everybody a, but that's going to really be a new name everybody's going to have but thank God at the end of that name it's going to be Jesus hallelujah. hallelujah be it so father be with her though we walk through the valleys of shadows and of death let us fear no evil. God be with her in every trial. You said you'll be with us in our sixth trouble. And my people in your seventh trouble, no evil shall come nigh your dwelling. Look unto me and you shall live. And I will give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord by the power of your spirit. God be it so. That's God talking to all of y'all. That's God talking to all of us. Be it so, Sister Bernice, in her situations and all the things that she has to go through and have to encounter, let your purpose and your will be done. Be it so, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, cast your prayers upon him, for he cares for you. He sees, he knows, he understands. He can be touched by every infirmity, by every situation, by every trial. You have a high priest which can be touched. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, be it so. Be it so. Be it so. Be it so. Be it so, be it so Father. 
Your purpose be done. Tell him, Brother Niels. Be it so. Be it so. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I just felt something went inside of you. I just felt a, a miracle, a healing went inside of you. In the name of Jesus. Let it be so, Father. He larando robosaya in Jesus' name. I felt it. In Jesus' name. Sister Ladonna, be it so. Be it so. Oh, hallelujah. Be it so, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I feel that anointing is here. I hope y'all are receiving it. I hope y'all are accepting it. I'm telling you, there is a special anointing here right now to help you. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Let it be so, Lord. 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 Be it so. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tell it. Be it so. Be it so. Whatever you've been needing in her home, in her body, children. Be it so. Tell him, Sister Lorraine. Be it so. He sees it. He knows. He understands. He sees what's battling your body. He sees what's coming against your physical body. Be it so. Heal it. Heal it. Heal it. In Jesus' name. Be it so. Father, be it so. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, Sister LaDonna's life. In the name of Jesus. You see what she needs. You, oh, my. Lord, have your way. Right now, come in and fix it and work it out. In Jehovah, in Jumunandas, oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Be it so in Keandra's life, in Jesus' name. And God, you bless him, Lord, for coming and bring me that special offering. You bless him, Lord, you rebuke the devour, rebuke the devour. That, that you've heard and that little bird and all of that and all of that was a sign from the Lord that you know he's not forsaking you he's with you hallelujah hallelujah be it so God bless you bless you I pray for you didn't I okay be it so in brother Moses life God help him and his physical health. You see the weariness. God is doing fine. God bless my brother. And continue to strengthen his, the rest of his family. In Jesus name. <laughs> Be it so. Be it so. Amen. God has brought you through some, some tight situations. Brother Moses. Children, God, they're grown. They got children of their own now. One of them do. God touched the daughter also. But 